Hey everybody and welcome. Today's destination brings us here to East Earl, Pennsylvania, and we're getting ready to eat at a restaurant where Nate from the YouTube channel Paging Mr. Morrow said that not only does this restaurant have his favorite buffet that he's ever been to, it's his favorite restaurant of all time. So we're here to see what it's all about. Another fun fact about this place, it is the largest buffet in the entire United States of America. Gentry, tell everybody where we're getting ready to eat today. Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Here we have some Harvard beets, butter noodles, sweet potato bake. Looks like there's some green beans, corn, and mixed vegetables as well. And here are some sweet potato fries, as well as chicken noodle soup. And there's some broccoli cheddar soup. And they have all the fixings here to make yourself a nice looking salad. There's beets, macaroni salad. Here are some eggs, cheese, and all the dressings to choose from. Over here, the salad bar is extended even further with different items that you can dress your salad up with. Today is seafood day, and over here they have made to order fish. They even have pizza. Here's some steak and cheeseburgers. They also have ham and prime rib. You can also get a baked potato and load that up. And this is just one of many condiment bars that they have available here at the Shady Maple Smorgasbord. There's all kinds of different desserts to choose from. Just with apples alone. There's apple crisp, apple pie, there's a really large variety of cakes and pies to choose from. They even have some fruit and jello. Just down here they also have some pudding, including rice pudding. Classic ice cream machine. Here's some cones you can get with that. And here are the toppings for the ice cream. They got a little bit of everything, including coconut, strawberries, maraschino cherries. And up here is that shoe fly pie at the Pennsylvania Dutch are famous for. There's a whole cold brew area for chilled coffee. They also have hot coffee. They even have an area for chocolate milk. Right here's that birch beer. Look at this guys, they even have an icy machine. This is Pennsylvania Dutch white birch beer, and it tastes exactly like root beer, but it's clear. It's really good. Jennifer, tell us what you got there. I got a variety. Um, it looks like roasted chicken, 
some sausage, a chicken croquette, uh, mashed potatoes and gravy with barbecue, noodles, sweet potato casserole, and grilled chicken. Gentry, what'd you end up getting, buddy? So I got sausage and some mashed potatoes, some noodles, macaroni, some ham, some chicken, and some rice. That looks really, really tasty. Henry, what'd you end up getting, buddy? Yeah. Chicken. Chicken? Those are sweet potatoes. Yeah. That is great. That is great. More chicken. Yeah, more chicken. Well, you really racked up. Yeah. So I loaded up here with all kinds of good stuff. I got some baked cod. I got some famous pot roast, as it was called. Some roasted chicken, some shrimp, and something that's very famous with Dutch cooking are ham balls. And over here, I got a second plate. I got some mixed vegetables, some corn. Um, there's a sweet potato bake. There's also some egg noodles, green beans, and there is a kielbasa sausage. So here's the roasted chicken. And I tore off like a little piece of the crust there. That has a really good flavor to it. Um, tastes a little bit kind of smoky a little bit. I like it. So this sausage has a pretty good smoky flavor to it and it's really good. All right guys, so Jennifer went to the far ends of the earth to find these crab cakes at the very end of the buffet. I didn't see them up there. Uh, but we're both gonna try them at the same time, let you know what we think. Here we go. I think it tastes like the stuffed crab at Captain D's. That's what I would compare it to. So, you know, it has that same same flavor in there. It's not like the best thing I've ever eaten or anything, but it's enjoyable. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. It doesn't blow me away where it's just like, hey, this is, one of the better crab cakes that I've ever had, but there's a lot of flavor to it, and it's an average crab cake. So I got a pierogi, which is, you know, well-known in the Midwest as a staple food, so I decided I had to try it. And of course, pierogies have mashed potatoes inside, for those who don't know. It's really interesting. Um, I think these were cooked with kind of like some onions and peppers, so it has that flavor. And I'm used to the outside being more of like a, a noodle type of dumpling, but this one's more of like a bread, almost like a hot pocket kind of outside. So that's very different, but it's flavorful. Henry's going in for the macaroni right away. How's the macaroni, Henry? Thank you. All right. All right, so the first thing I'd like to try is one of these ham balls that they're known for. Now, I grew up in Ohio, and something that we always had for Christmas growing up was ham loaf. And this tastes identical to ham loaf. It has that pineapple glaze to it. It has the sweet ham, and it's, it's a really good dish, and it brings me right back to Christmas. Next, I'm going to try some of their famous pot roast, as it was labeled. I'll be honest, the pot roast, probably not my favorite. There's not a lot of seasoning going on. It wasn't marinated in anything. It's moist. It was cooked well um, in terms of the actual meat, but there's no flavoring to it. It's just very plain. Hey, Jennifer, tell us what you got there. This is shoe fly pie. Every time that we watch videos from this area, we see everyone tells everyone to try the shoe fly pie, that that's like, the thing here so when in Rome so it smells like sorghum molasses and I've read online just to kind of find out like what is you fly pie uh, that is one of the ingredients so let's dig in hmm, that's really different it almost has like a hint of like a raisin flavor to it 
Brent's pap papa makes the best pies and one of his pies is a raisin pie. So it has a little hint of that flavor. And then you get that um, molasses type of flavor. So it's very different. Um, you do have to like molasses to like this pie. All right guys, now I'm gonna try the shoe fly pie myself. As Jennifer mentioned, my papa does make some really good raisin pies. And so uh, if it tastes anything like that, it's gotta be good. Let's see how it is. Um, unique is a good word for it, uh, but very good. This is uh, honestly my favorite thing here today. To finish the meal, what do you boys have there? Slushy. Slushy? Slushy. Awesome. So the way that this works is when you have your table, the orange side is up, meaning that it's reserved. And when you're ready to go, boys, go ahead and flip that over. This shows that we are ready to leave. I wanted to point out too, guys, that it was $70.78 for one child, two adults. Henry, because he's so young, is free. These three-dimensional pictures are so neat. This looks a lot like the farmland that we've seen on our drive here today gift shop is just way too large to film the entire thing so i'm just going to show you some of the shady maple merchandise that they have they have some really cool hats here they're 21.99 a piece and they also have a lot of shirts that are priced this one's here at 11.99 and it's lancaster county pennsylvania they got a tie-dye shirt here for 17.99 and you can actually get a shady maple smorgasbord shirt for 9.99 food is a destination and here are some shady maple smorgasbord pajamas check that out Let's see how much they are 28 bucks 28 bucks oh, i like that one this one's my favorite and we couldn't think of any better way to do our outro here at the shady maple smorgasbord than right here under a shady maple tree henry what did you think about the shady maple smorgasbord, buddy? Uh, it was good, like, like a chicken, but I did, but it was too much. It was too much food, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't want. I like beef. And, yeah. I like chicken than beef. You like chicken a little more than beef? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think they usually like to choose chicken over the beef. All right. Yeah. And gentry. I love smoothies. Yeah, <laughs> the smoothies was your favorite. I like smoothies what about? Too. Yeah, you really loved your smoothie, didn't you? Yeah, but what I about the... so too. <laughs> what about your food? Macaroni. Macaroni. I somehow knew that's what you were going to say. And Jennifer? Um, I like the roasted chicken and the cucumbers. You could tell that they were not just like your regular grocery store cucumbers. Uh, that's one of my favorite vegetables, by the way. I could tell that those were, were fresh from someone's garden. Uh, those were really good. The French onion soup was pretty good as well and uh, I really loved the Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer that was really really good and I will say there is one thing that they have mastered here and that is the ability to be able to replenish the food before it disappears with this sheer amount of people that are here I know it seats 1200 uh, people somewhere in that vicinity 1200 plus people uh, I, there were several hundred people here easily I mean the parking lot is packed um, it, it was even difficult to, to navigate and some people were just standing there with their plates just I think just overwhelmed with the sheer amount of food that's available here just thinking of their next move and and which island in the buffet they were going to try next um, I will say this uh, the handballs were really good the shoe fly pie that was something else I'm really glad we got to try that because uh, we watch a lot of YouTube channels where they try the uh, shoe fly pie and it, it, it's always looked dry to us and Jennifer and I have both commented like well it looks really dry but when we got to try it today um, personally I just thought it was delicious and I think Jennifer concurs with that as well when it comes to the food some of the food items were delicious but some of the other food items had absolutely zero flavor. For example, the pot roast and the corn. I couldn't taste any butter, I couldn't taste any salt, there was no marinade for the pot roast. But with that also being said, there were many items that were delicious. The desserts were very decadent, very filling, and there were other items that were also just as equally delicious. So it was a little hit or miss for me. 
uh, for some of the food items here, but all in all, a very fun place. Guys, we thank you so much for joining us today here at the largest buffet in the entire United States of America. And we can't wait to see you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday.